So when you've got IBM Watson um, installed, uh, you should end up with a folder like this. Remember, actually just, just downloading uh, Watson B is really easy. You can just go to GitHub and sort of download it straight from there. Um, but it's the it's the prerequisites that you need to set your computer up with beforehand uh, with kind of Python and everything else so that actually was challenging. So once you've got this folder, right, uh, if we click into it, it's got a load of readmes, things like that. Readme takes you to a document that looks like this. Yours might load up in something else, but I've got Xcode, so it looks, and it's just basically the same as what you find on GitHub, um, actually. And it kind of gets down to ready to run. What I was just doing is having a watch of the uh, video tutorials, but frustratingly, there's not actually a really basic one on just making it work to begin with, which which would have been great, and that's kind of what we're going to go through here. Um, so the one piece of information that you kind of need is uh, this is very useful to understand exactly what's going on with the piece of code you're about to pump in. But I'll try and um, make it make sense for you. Um, is this down here? So to pass a specific MIDI um, and any files to the following syntax. So ignore what any files are for now, but basically that's where um, you can control parameters. So for instance, this one is reggae pop, whereas there are different sort of styles and you can go into these documents and adjust um, like timings, tempos, time signatures, like loads of stuff. You can adjust all that sort of stuff in here if you want to. Um, and then this is where you pass a MIDI file through. So this is um, sort of uh, the kind of slash, or not slash, um, hyphen I for the any file, hyphen M, which is the MIDI file. So for now, we're just going to give you one of the one, you know, just play with one of the ones that they've sent us, which is um, Mary Had a Little Lamb. And this is saying we can find this in a folder in a minute by going to MIDI, the folder, and then it's called Mary.mid is the file. And the sort of uh, hyphen O is the output. So this is the example they give there. Now, what I did is, is my Watson beat folder that I downloaded. You go into SRC, which I think stands for source. Then um, I added this folder. This folder is not in there when you download it. When you download it, um, you don't get an output folder because you look at this what they're suggesting is um, this guy whoever created this saves it to his user um, sort of area he's got a folder called MIDI files so I wanted to keep all my Watson beat stuff kind of together so I put a, created a new folder and I called it um, output um, just there so I can keep all my kind of output files together right so um, let's just move that to trash so you need to create that folder or know where it is, but I found that quite difficult to navigate to because I'm not used to doing this sort of stuff. So once you've got that, hopefully you can call it whatever you like, but put some sort of output folder in here it makes it easier. I'm just gonna go back to the encasing folder for my Watson, so I've got my Watson beat folder, and I need this. And the next thing I need is the terminal. So if I go for the magnifying glass, search for terminal, and load it up, looks like this, really confusing. Anyway, what I wanna do is be able to access this SRC folder. And one way I found to do this, because this is not explained very well over here, is if I grab the folder here, and I hold Command while I move it into Terminal, right now what it's doing is it's saying now we are accessing C uh, SRC folder. So I'm in this folder here, right? So I'm in here, in the Terminal. Now what I need to do, and this is where like you can just paste this in, um, and what I did is, um, so I've got my instructions here, so I, I saved this in with my kind of um, uh, sort of uh, what's a beat folder to save some sort of time and remind myself how to do all this. So I've done this, I've um, dragged in the SRC folder while holding command, and so now I'm gonna paste this in, so I'm gonna grab this. Remember what it says is Python, um, what's the beat dev.py, the dot .py is for Python, which is the programming language. So that's just gonna run that file, right? And it's going to take as an input this any file, and you can find them in here, and we'll look in another session how you can adjust the parameters in these. 
So that's like the style folder or like, you know, style sort theory folder that it's going to use. Then dot, um, sorry, not dot, uh, hyphen M, which is uh, what kind of MIDI file. So this is where later on we could go and create some new MIDI files um, of our own, our own musical ideas. But for now, we'll just use what they've given us to prove this works. And then we want hyphen O, which is the output. And remember, I created my own folder. So because I created the output here in this folder, remember, we are accessing the SRC folder in terminal. So I can just put output and then you need um, like a, a slash. So it's going in this folder, basically. But this is where you could save this anywhere on your computer. And that's what they've done here is they've got like four slash users the username is mo in this instance, and then forward slash MIDI files. Um, but I, I find that quite confusing as a non programmer. So I'm going to copy this, I paste it in here, like that. So it is going to access the kind of reggae pop um, style with the MIDI file Mary, which is actually Mary had a little lamb, and it's going to chuck it in the output folder I put there. That's it. Hit return or enter. Runs a load of code, working everything out. And if we open it up, right, you can see for those of you musicians that have ever opened up the events kind of screen, something like Logic, right? You can see that this is creating MIDI information, essentially all this sort of stuff here, right? It's creating MIDI kind of information, you know, pitches, durations, velocity, you know, stuff like that, right? That. <laughs> There you go, there's the MIDI, and then you can see at the end it's kind of finished, it's ready for the next command in SRC, so you can run another one. And if we go over to our folder, SRC folder in output, you can now see I have loads and loads of MIDI files, right, ready to go. So I think I did a one earlier, I need to kind of organize it. But, oh no, I, I must have got rid of it actually. So I've got loads and loads of MIDI files. I could have set up a, a folder here and kind of put these in, but I might then go and just, the way I like to work maybe is like grab all these, go put them in a folder somewhere, and then I can drag them into Logic um, or whatever DAW you're using, essentially. But that's how to get the basic program to work, right? Is if we run through it really quickly. So I'm gonna open Terminal. Actually, let's uh, close out so we get a brand new one. So open Terminal, right? Go to the Watson Beat folder. Make sure you've set up all the prerequisites and gone through all the installing Python and the other things it needs, homebrew. Then go and dr command drag SRC in. There you go. And then it's saying it's accessing the SRC folder. Then uh, we want to drag in, I've got my adjusted one here. Drag this in and you can screenshot this and use this if you want, or it is on the readme file and it's also on the GitHub thing. But this is where, say, what we could do is we could go and grab a different MIDI file. So let's change the MIDI file Mary, right, to, um, and this is where, again, I found this quite confusing to kind of write in. Um, it's not. Oh, right, Mary. So we could change this to, let's go happy one. That's a nice easy one to type. And so what you have to be con con consider when you're doing all this is that everything has to be typed just that. So happy one dot mid, essentially, yeah. And we could use a different ini file. So let's go and have a look at these. And let's go for chill, that'd be cool. So I'm gonna change um, reggae pop. Reggae pop to chill. There we go. So we've got chill.ini with a capital, and then I'm sure when I went back, um, because sometimes upper and lowercase matters, these are all lowercase. So hopefully, um, I just need to add a slash on the end of output. Ooh, not right, there we go. There we go, it worked. So it's running the code, creating a MIDI track. And the thing is with this is because it's using machine learning, even if I did this exactly the same 10 times, it would come up with a new piece of music each time. 
um, which is really cool. So again, I could go back in and I'd have to separate them out by, um, when they were created because I didn't fold wrap everything. But you see all of the 1604 ones are the new piece that we've just created here. Um, so I don't know if I deleted the previous ones. So we've got all those kind of ready, ready to use and chuck in to Logic or another DAW. That's how to get the basic program to work to pump in some sort of MIDI file that obviously you could create as well, and then pump out a load of MIDI parts that is then ready to be arranged in a DAW.